Over recent weeks, I've had the privilege of engaging with our clients and experts of real estate all over the country on a local, state, and national level to address the unprecedented impact of the coronavirus on our local economy, as well as our real estate market. The concerns we hear from clients reflect both sides of the fence. Number one, is this the Great Recession of 2008 all over again? And number two, what are the best buying opportunities right now in your market? These two mindsets reflect both the conservative and opportunistic approach of our consumers. Today, I wish to share with you several facts and relevant influences that may help you determine your real estate path during this time. So let's address question number one. Is this the Great Recession of 2008 all over again? My simple answer is no. The variables are incredibly different. Let's first look at a macro U.S. level. According to the National Association of Realtors, annual home sales have flatlined at about 6 million transactions per year over the last four years. That's approximately 28% lower than 2005's eight and a quarter million. The National Association of Realtors also presents that we have an undersupplied housing market across the U.S. that even at the current rate of construction, our home builders will never be able to catch up with the demand. Add to this the perspective that across the United States, per CoreLogic's 2019 report, which I've linked below, total home equity hit a record of $15.8 trillion at the end of the first quarter of 2019. This is up from 6.1 trillion in the first quarter of 2009. Between the first quarter of 2010 and the first quarter of 2019, the average equity per borrower increased from approximately $75,000 to 171,000. This is incredibly comforting data for the stability, both the stability as well as the integrity of the housing market as an influence in our economy. However, any real estate expert will share that real estate is local. So let's dig a step further into our South Carolina market. Are we in demand as a state? Well, according to the New York Times, South Carolina's population growth rate of 11.3% through 2019 ranked second of all the southeastern states with only Florida outpacing our growth. Factors of job opportunity and quality of life are some of the greatest contributing factors. So do recent trends support these bull market growth trends? Well, looking at 2015 to 2019 housing trends from South Carolina housing market and using South Carolina Association of Realtors data, we'll find that housing inventory was in decline, an average of 5.2% per year, while closed sales increased at an average price of only 4.5%. These inverse relationships of declining supply and increasing demand can begin to lead to substantial increases of property value. Fortunately, South Carolina has seen a healthy median sales price growth of five and three quarters percent, far from the 10 to 20% uh, increases we saw prior to the 2008 recession. The increased lending regulation after the 2008 recession helped restrict the pace of property values rising in today's market, while adding to the increased equity position and the resulting stability of homeowners. If we consider the purchasing power of today's consumers uh, through mortgage interest rates that are half of what they were prior to 2000, the 2008 recession, then most would agree an average annual increase of five and three quarters percent statewide for the last four years is in fact historically conservative. It's my opinion that the impact of the coronavirus, while unknown, will be significant to the way we approach life. However, the vulnerabilities of the housing market, if any, uh, will be entirely local and short term provided the incredible stimulus package of the CARES Act. The housing shortage combined with the workforce shortage in our local markets of Hilton Head Island, Bluffton, Okatee, and Hardyville give us encouragement that those perhaps hardest hit uh, by temporary layoffs will find relief by the stimulus and opportunity by the need once we resume normalcy. It is important, I stress, that everyone's needs are different. And there's an urgency, or if there's an urgency to your needs, you need to speak with a real estate specialist who will deliver the best advisement and support to accomplish your goals. If you're not currently working with a realtor, I highly recommend any of the professional realtors at Dunes Real Estate. 
To stay updated on this series and to continue gaining access to the latest and best opportunities in our low country market, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button or following us on Facebook at Dunes Real Estate. Thank you for joining us today.